Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Bonky Cook here, aka the Lonely Achievement God, and I am coming at you with a new uh, full playthrough, probably, most likely. We're going to attempt to get through this. I don't know what a playthrough really entails for this, for, but we're playing the new Pokemon Snap game. Uh, full disclosure, I have not played a Pokemon game I guess I, I should say I haven't given a Pokemon game the time it deserves. Uh, maybe since, like, the... What was it? Pearl? I'm not entirely sure on the time frames, but I believe there was Pearl and... Uh, I don't remember what the other ones were. Uh, on the DS? I think? So I am quite out of the loop when it comes to newer Pokemon. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say, Oh, look at that thing that I know. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be pretending I know what these Pokemon are. And to be honest, uh, I feel bad about that. I've always enjoyed the Pokemon series. Um, the only ones I haven't played are Black and White 2. I never went back and played those because uh, Black and White were my least favorite. And I think that's kind of a controversial Pokemon opinion. But uh, I didn't enjoy playing through Black and White, so I never went back to Black and White 2. And then the most recent one, which I am planning on trying to get a copy of, <coughs> excuse me, and maybe we'll go play through that together on the channel here. Uh, Pokemon, uh, what, Sword and Shield, I think they are? So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. Having to clear my throat a lot. So, we're going to go ahead and jump in. I'm trying, probably going to keep this introduction relatively short. I don't know exactly how long this game is, is and what it entails and all that fun stuff. So, <clears throat> Laboratory of Ecology, Natural Sciences. Oh, snap. It's the new Pokemon Snap. So, again, something else. Well, we better wait. We might have some dialogue. <clears throat> I recognize some of these, but not enough to be able to say what their names are. Hello there, crazy hair lady and professor who looks like he could bench press 350. Professor Mirror. Ah. That girl's green eyes are green. Holy. I, I almost. I had to stop there. We're going to move on. Hi there. I'm glad you made it. Well, thank you, Professor Mirror. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. We're Pokemon Snap. Okay. <clears throat> My name is Mirror. What's your last name? I'm researching Pokemon and their natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah, so... yeah, and that's not all. The professor's gonna study every single island here in the Lentil region. <coughs> no one's ever done an e e e ecological survey like this before. It's gonna be amazing. Excuse me. No one? Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? Oops, good point. You've read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? I have not, Rita. But even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That sounds about right. That's how long ago Pokemon Snap came out, right? That's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. I like how these two are going back and forth, complimenting each other in front of a stranger. Acting like they they don't l work or live together all this time. Like, who knows how long she's been here on vacation and they're, like, explaining things to us while we're trying to have a conversation. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. <coughs> I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant! Ah <laughs> uh, yes, that's right, and I appreciate the help! Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program... 
Why don't we step into the lab to get settled? Yeah. Right you are, Professor! I'll lead the way! Oof, dinner must be enthralling. All right, allow me to explain. Okay, I'm gonna take a second here. Um, I like the Pokemon games a lot. I grew up on Red and Blue, uh, so I started way back when. I've tried to keep up as much as I can. I have played everything, except for Black and White 2 and the most recent ones. But I don't have a good knowledge of the Pokemon games, so uh, recent ones. As I said, if there's any Sword and Shield Pokemon in here that are exclusive there, I will not know them. Um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, anything from, like, Pearl on, there's a pretty good chance I'm not gonna know them off the top of my head. We're looking at probably the first two or three gens. I'll have a pretty good idea of Pokemon names. Even then, uh, I've been out of the loop for a while now. It's not really my thing, so... Um, I'm. If you're looking for in-depth Pokémon knowledge, you are not in the right place. Uh, I am very much interested in playing this because I remember the initial Pokémon Snap, and I, it was okay. Like, I, I don't remember very much about it, which means... It didn't leave a lasting impression on me. Um, I seem to recall everything being staged the same exact way. Now, granted, that was 25 years ago, maybe, maybe longer than that. I don't quite remember when it came out. Um, so I'm interested to see what they've done and how they've upped and, and changed. <clears throat> excuse me, how they changed what we, uh, how we play the Pokemon Snap games. So. Uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way before we move any further. Uh, full disclosure about me and how I view the Pokemon world and what kind of content you're probably going to get out of this playthrough as we go through together. I'm not exactly beloved enough to have a, a following, so I'm trying to introduce myself as much as I can in these videos so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. So, all right, Professor Mirror says, allow me to explain. See that one walking around in the back? It's like an odd... Dina or something like that? Ah. Okay. Professor wants to explain. We better let him. He looks very eager. The lentil region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. I, I've heard they're very he healthy, too. Photographing those Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. Sure. I think that's... And that's exactly what you're here to do. By the way. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. That seems like Team Rocket messed up their nuclear power plant somewhere. All right. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. It doesn't look very comfortable to hold. I've got the same one! We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too! Rita says, That's right, it's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yep. But what about other Pokémon? Not just the fly Pokémon. Ha ha ha. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here, so take good care of it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever handled a camera before. <laughs> what is that? What do you think? The lens? What? What does the lens do? <laughs> awesome, right? The professor invented it. Can I explain how to use it, professor? Please let me be useful. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. Well, if she's taking over, then it's not assisting anymore. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go outside. <sighs> Her eyes are very green. Okay, tutorials are based on default button layouts. Let's see. Let's see. Haha! Perfect. Perfect timing. 
Oh, she's talking. Try getting a shot of that Pokemon. You can press the A button to take a photo. Pressing A to take a photo. Yes, what are you doing? Well, thank you. I am very good at this. Now, why don't you try moving the camera to line up your shots? Well, that's what I tried, but I don't think I was allowed to yet. You in my head? You can use motion controls to aim your camera too. Yeah, I turned that off. Appeared. It's a rectangle, maybe a square. Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. Remember that. Okay. It'll be important. It is a Pikachu time. going to the northeast. That's how we're gonna label our P Pikachu. Try snapping a photo. That's it. Kind of wanted to center Pikachu though. I mean, thank you. I'm amazing at this. But since Pikachu's a little far away, it looks kind of small, huh? Times like this call for zooming in. They do. They do, in fact. Call for zooming in. Just hold the ZL button. You'll stay zoomed in until you excel. Try snapping a photo of Pikachu looking nice and big. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I know this is a tutorial to explain the game to kids, but, like, it comes off so weird. Look, we made Pikachu bigger because we zoomed in. I'm thinking, like, every four-year-old knows how to handle a, uh, a tablet to zoom in, so uh, I guess you have to be very, very careful with tutorials, but... Did. Great. I'm great at photographing photographers. Oh, right. You can adjust your camera and motion controls from the settings menu. I might have to do that. You can also adjust them from the pause menu while you're out doing research. Hey, professor. You covered the Turned off my gyro controls in Luigi's Mansion, but if they are prevalent in this as well, then I should probably disable them again cuz it just uh, messed me up more than helped. In Luigi's Mansion. Next time I get to pause, we'll take a look at that. Or we might just leave it until it starts to interfere with gaming. How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the fo- Evaluate? Evaluate. Evaluate the photos you took. First of all. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Hey, I have one of those on legwalkthroughs.com. Special scoring system. Mine's better. Pick whichever shots you think are the best. Okay. Nope, these are all garbage. Toss them all. You can choose a photo with left and right or by moving the pointer. Press A when you've decided which one to show. Wow. Do we have a camera with better resolution? Vivalon. I think I've n heard Vivalon. Okay, let's show the professor. Starting with photo number one. Oh, it shows up a lot cleaner in the full full view. Oh, it's Pikachu. This is the first time you've gotten it. First thing I do is rate each photo from one to four stars. I 
came up with this system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in an ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Simple enough, right? So a Pokemon standing on his head uh, playing the flute would get more stars than a Pikachu standing still. Simple enough. To be clear, the number of stars a photo receives doesn't affect its score. Every category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was happening when you took each photo. That data helps me categorize your photos. What does that mean? Like, if a volcano was erupting behind me while I took a picture, does it make it more epic? Does the camera know that? That'd be cool. Camera's like, this picture was taken while lava was flowing at the photographer's back. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate, eval I keep doing that, evaluate the subject's pose. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a high pose score. Now, on to the other factors. Well, wait, you didn't tell me if I did good in pose or not. Size is straightforward. The larger your, largest your subject, the larger your subject Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in your photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice balanced photo. And finally, you'll get bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now, I know that was a lot of info all at once. I don't remember any of it. I learn a lot more from doing things than I do from reading and listening. Let me boil it down. Remember this and you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap the shutter. But if I snap the shutter, how do I take pictures? With all that in mind, here's your evaluation. Garbage! Looking good! Hard to believe you're a beginner! Is that my best one-star photo? <clears throat> Excuse me, or was that like a Pikachu specific? Next is Vivillon, a new addition to our research. Nice work. This one's gonna be bad. I see it's in flight, nice going. Okay, sure, I, I mean, you can't even see it really, but same point total as the po Pikachu, I think. Remember, getting the whole Pokémon in the frame, looking nice and big, is key to a good size score. <clears throat> I guess? See, now there's a Vivillon in the one star. Does that mean... I wonder what that means. I'm sure they'll explain. How was it? What did you think? Once you get all your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks! Dex, dex, dex. That will be a great milestone to work toward. Right. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your adventure. I want to sleep, though. It's such a long trip. That should about do it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your... F oh, there it is. It'll carry you on your f photography expeditions. It's called the Neo one. <laughs> it's the best. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. That's why I did the bendy pose. Because it's the best. Here's the thing. I finally put the finishing touches on it not long ago with a little help from someone I know. You see, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the lentil region. Come on, professor. That's so lame. As the kids would say. The details can wait. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera to the console. <clears throat> can I eat or sleep? Use the restroom for crying out loud? I could have been on that train or however I got here for hours. Good luck! You've got this! Enjoy your first photo expedition! 
Captain Vince was an adventurer who explored the islands a hundred years ago. After an encounter with an Illumina Pokemon, he dedicated his life to it. Okay. This is kind of what I expected. It's a Dodrio. Vivalon. This is interesting, but the on-rails thing gives me anxiety. Like, I feel like I'm going to miss uh, things because I'm going to be so worried about trying to see everything that I'm going to miss important things. Like, I think something just flew by and I was looking elsewhere. See, there he goes again. There's a Bidoof. I know Bidoof. Wormpole, it looked like, over there. I don't know what that was. I took a picture of it, though. Can't get the flying squirrel. It's kind of hoping there'd be more walk around and do things. Hey, hello? Drio. That was mean. So yeah, they, they kind of just did the original Pokemon Snap thing. And, uh... We'll see. Maybe this isn't... Entirely what's gonna happen. I'm so worried I'm gonna miss things. Ah... Uh, I do recognize Comfy. But it's, uh... This is cute, but I'm curious if it does the same thing every time, like Pokemon Snap did. Because if it does, it's not going to have a lot of replayability for me. We might we might be moving on relatively quickly, depending on uh, how much content there is here. Welcome back! I hope you had a good time in Florio Nature Park. Now, just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. Okay. That's the only Grokey I got. Grokey, so... Oh, I would think that the one of them running would be...
Okay, let's show the professor our photos. All right. A new discovery. It's Grookey. I mean, technically, that's a better Pichu photo. But, okay, a new addition to our research. Must be in a hurry. Nice work. Remember, getting the whole Pokémon in the frame looking nice and big is a is key to a good size score. A new discovery. Dodrio! It's the first time we've got it. Something caught its attention. Placement is looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. Hey, it went in a two-star. There's Bidoof. A new discovery. New Pokemon. Nice Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame is key to a good size score. A new discovery. Next, we've got Wurmple, a new addition to our research. Yeah, I'm probably not going to keep talking about all these. It's going to start repeating things quite quickly, I would I would guess. I was proud of this. I thought this would be a better picture. Swana, don't you Swana? Magic Heart. A new discovery. Nice work. I will also point out, uh, I may mispronounce Pokemon names. When I was a kid, um, we had no reference. I didn't watch the anime. I only learned by reading names. So some of the pronunciations I've come up with are probably incorrect. can feel free to correct me, but I'm not really sure if I'll care or not. Not to be mean. Nice work. Okay, come on. <coughs> Excuse me. This is cute, but it takes a little too long here. Great timing. How was it? So, what did you think? Anyway. One last thing, let me tell you about research levels. The research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe, observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. That means getting photographs of them in every category from 1 star to 4 stars. So in short, fill up that po photo dex, keep that in mind, and you'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Great work researching this new site. I hope your next trip goes just as well. Research Florio Nature Park. Got a score of 1,000 points or more in the direction category. Got a score of 1,000 in placement.
Stoutland and Audino. 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 covers just about everything. Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon, after a little more practice. Also. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. I'll explain more about that when you stop by the lab. Anyway. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Go have a good time and snap some photos. Are you headed out on another expedition already? Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan! That'll give you details about your surroundings. Okay? It tells you about nearby Pokémon and points out anything unusual. Good question, Rita. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if the thing's like, look, something's happening, then you, you assume something's happening, I guess. It's magic. You'll get the hang of it once you try it. Rita, would you mind demonstrating? Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. Uh-oh. One's the X button. Oh. Try it out. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? And did you also notice that question mark? I did. That tells you there's something to take a closer look at. First, move the pointer over the question mark. Did you see the pointer change shape? That's your cue to press and hold the X button to analyze whatever's there. Give it a try. Now you can see the results. Come to think of it, I heard that a friend of the professor's came up with the name Neo One. Well, pretty easy, right? When this icon pops up at the bottom of your screen, there's something nearby to check out. When you see that, try running a scan and taking a careful look around. Oh, right, I almost forgot. There's one more cool thing you should know about scanning. Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the scan. If it gets their attention, that's your chance to snap a photo. The professor calls it an accidental say cheese feature. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. Okay. We're learning some of the basics. Hey, professor, explanation's all done. Thank you. Thanks, Rena. Don't hesitate to run a scan. It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. Okay, real quick, let's take a look at where we're at. We got 34 minutes in or so here. I think what I'm going to do... Is we're going to go ahead and do one more run. And see if anything substantially changes. Because at this point, I'm honestly thinking I'm probably not going to record a full playthrough of this. Um, First of all. I think there are other titles that are better suited for me. Um, not that Pokemon isn't. Like, but again, you're you're gonna want to watch someone who's like, that's Gigglycon, and knows exactly their height and weight, and be like, oh, that one's a big one. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna have a lot of that insightful information, so I may just show off the beginning of this call it good and, and move on from there. 
So we'll do another run and see what changes here. We may just, like I said, just go on until it kind of lets us, cuts us loose. And then, uh, we may be done. I may, I'm, I'm heavily leaning towards not recording a full, full run of this game. It's just not tickling my fancy like I was hoping it would. Let's see, anything else exciting? Most of this is the same still. Though we didn't have any of the bufalants. We got an Amolga, that's what I want. Okay, that was the thing I was supposed to look at. I already looked at that, though. I mean, that's interesting, but... This is my bad. Just, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the... I've never been... Okay, so that's... If you've watched my channel, I've already talked about how I'm not a big fan of, uh, fighting games. Not a big fan of on-rails games, either. Not a whole lot is different. I mean... I know they probably did this as a tutorial so that you go through and then you'll level up and they'll be like, Here's what's different now. This isn't this isn't a bad game by any means. I just don't know if it's something I want to spend 15 to 20 hours in. That's all. So, probably going to just do this a couple more times and call it uh, kind of an introduction video. Welcome back. Make any new discoveries? Bufalant. Molga. Florges. Oh, I kind of thought it would let me know that. Yeah, ooh. 
Ooh, okay. Um... Yeah, I think this is gonna be it, folks. I don't think we're gonna do this for a, a whole playthrough. I apologize. I was really hoping that this would be something I would enjoy, but, uh... I'm not saying it's bad. Again, it's just not not tickling my fancy where I want to spend a lot of time on it. Well, let's see what we got. New record! One star Dodrio. Not sure how this one was a two star photo. Because the one where it was looking directly at the camera was the one star. Ah. Great timing. Mm, nice work. Somehow, that's a two-star photo. <laughs> and that'll level up our research level. We went up to level two! By the way, thanks to the progress you've made, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Yeah, I'm good. Let's return to camp. Hello. Your photography seems to be going well. Anyway. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Florio Nature Park. Hopefully you'll get to see one of Luntel's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Mm. Yes, I am. Character for pushing story exposition, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step toward my, toward my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokémon spoken of in the Legends of Lentil. Pretty sure there's a vegan shop nearby called the Legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokémon? I thought they were made up. <gasps> no, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travel log, haven't you? That's just a cloud. That's, that's a cloud. You can barely tell what's in those photos, and they're ancient anyway, literally a hundred years old. Well, we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. But I wanted to go during the daytime. I leveled up. Yeah, we'll do the nighttime. Let's give it a look see here. You might get to see a whole new side of Pokemon at night. Watch for differences in their behavior. Doof.
They're on the road. How can I get past them? Ah, no, I missed the shot. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. I'll have to get some torteras. That's a pigeon. We can see the hoot hoot eyes. Give a hoot, don't pollute. It bothers me how some of the Pokemon that are super, super rare in the video games are very common in Pokemon Snap. Which, I mean, there's a reason for that. I, I do recognize that, but it's... There it is. Yes, that was it. Different Pokemon, but the same track, the same layout. We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Oh, see, I already screwed that up, and that's going to bother me. If I made, took a new photo of something, it should tell me I took a new photo of it. Like, if I didn't get a, a hoot hoot, then there shouldn't be anything there. But if I took a photo of a hoot hoot, the photo should, or the album should be lit up. Now, I understand that they're showing me every Pokemon that's there, but the fact that there's no icon over the folders makes me think that I need to skip the photos that it's not worth looking at. Okay. We're just gonna skip ahead here. We got... We're at 50 minutes. We're gonna do one more run, and then I think we'll call it good. Now, I'm not saying I will never do this, but I am, again, borrowing this game, so, uh, and more than likely I will be returning it after we're done recording here. But if I got enough feedback from people saying, I want more Pokémon, then I would consider getting, you know, a copy of this game or whatever and going through, but, um, I want this to be fun for everyone, you know, not just for you guys and not just for me. I want to have something that I enjoy playing, so I can have enjoyable commentary. We're just getting started with this after hours research. Good luck out there. I know you can do it. Oh, I got a present. Oh. 
Just for going on my first night patrol. Thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. You say that every time. Okay, what do you got for me? We might not take one more run, depending on how long all this dialogue takes. If we're close to an hour, then I'll probably just stop the video. Hmm, that's intriguing. Hey, it's me! Something incredible, Something incredible has happened. Here, take a look a building me. propped up. Propped up overnight. When you got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also. Source seemed to be moving too, if only slightly. Which suggests what we've got here is... <laughs> an Illumina Pokémon! Mm -hmm. Can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. Wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything? I did nothing. I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. I'm probably the chosen one. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where that reading is coming from. What? Aww, I want to go see too! You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. All right. Please, head out as soon as you're ready. Okay, that didn't take long. We can, we can get one more run done here. This'll be the last one. See what these Illumina, the Illuminati Pokemon, a young girl who loves Pokemon, Rita. That's all I got. Definitely where the reading was coming from. Do you see or hear anything? No, I can't see anything. This guy is going to be like a hundred stories tall. He's going to eat me. Epigenium, the Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. I mean, some of that meganium booty there. I guess. This. See, I guess if you've had any interest in ever photographing, you know, natural things and all that, and having a pretty photo album and taking pictures and stuff like that, you might enjoy this. I don't know that I have the patience for it. Like, I'm sitting here, like, I want to get the perfect picture, but he just keeps showing me his butt. And that's not great for a photo album. Peekaboo. Oh, that, so that total in the upper right-hand corner is how many photos you have left, not how many you've taken.
We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Let's see. I supposedly have a three star. Was that it? Did I miss it? Oh, I got a couple of three stars where the phenomenon isn't there. Gotcha. Okay, great. That makes me feel better. Ganium is, of course, new. Look at that! You've hit a new stage in your research! Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small! You got a score of 5,000 points or more. I did. You got a score of 1,000 in the pose category. Registered the Illumina Pokemon Meganium to your photo text. I did that as well. Cell shaded filter. By the way, now that we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. I'm just going to say that every time. Yes, you're back! Uh -huh. She missed me. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And was it saying something? Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You were practically dancing, Professor. <clears throat> Moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. Remind me what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor? Didn't they supposedly save Lentil from a huge disaster a long time ago? So the story goes, yes. Lumina Pokémon were also said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. Sounds like our new friend! Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? That's alright, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. I appreciate that. I can finally sleep. Do I get to eat, though? Use the restroom, maybe? Good morning. Nope. Good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? No. I, I closed my eyes and it was morning. Now, as Rita already told you, I've been preparing to launch the ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokémon! You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet, but every Pokémon game ever, the main character is chosen for whatever journey is happening. So, I'm pretty sure. Fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Really? <laughs> well, you know, maybe. Jeez. For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. But... Still, I think it's a good idea. It'll be way more fun with you along. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? I think that's a good spot to end the video. Excellent. Well then, let's make it official with a team badge. Yep. It's like you were born to wear it. 
Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits! Not to rain on your parade, Rita, but I need to get a couple more things ready first. Aw, huh? come on! Just a little bit longer, alright? I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. We got a present. We got an official team badge. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. There is the first hour or so of the new Pokemon Snap. Make a decision for yourself if you want to uh, play play some more, or uh, play it yourself, or, you know, maybe you're interested in, in finding out some more about it. I don't think it's my type of game. Uh, I was curious to see what they have done since the N64 game, and it just seems to be more of the same, which I wasn't a big fan of the original, so I'm going to leave it there. I will not be making uh, any more videos uh, detailing this. I, I do apologize for the build-up, because I assumed that I would enjoy this more than I have. Um, so, as it stands, if you have any questions or comments for me, uh, you can let me know down below. Uh, if you don't, I do appreciate all of the subscriptions, liking, sharing, and checking out my website, like walkthroughs.com. I do appreciate all of the uh, content creator cliches here at Leg Walkthroughs. And, of course, if you don't have any questions or comments, I will see you in the next videos that I do. I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be now. Um, it may be a little bit. Maybe we might go back to doing some of the Story of Seasons stuff. I do still have that sitting around so um while i'm waiting for another switch game to pop in maybe we'll we'll do some more of the story of seasons and, and mess around with that so maybe i'll see you in part two of the story of seasons but this will be the end of our pokemon snap preview so uh i appreciate you guys taking your time to be with me and i will see you guys next time